I'm Ed Edmonds with Distortions Unlimited, and you are watching Inside the Haunt Industry. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Haunt Industry. I'm your host, Dan Doble, bringing you the who, the what, and the where of the industry we all love. Today, we're at Transworld 2015, where we're going to see some really cool stuff. Distortions Unlimited. This is a crazy booth. You have some of the biggest props. Yeah. Actor controlled animatronics. They're crazy. Right. Uh, right. Do you mind just uh, telling me some more about them? Well, you know, we are always trying to come up with something that hasn't been done yet and so forth. And we want to provide, these big props are to provide the wow. You know, so people go to the haunt, they're like, Wow, you know, this is this is a first class event. And so uh, we came up with this idea. If he stands, I think he's sitting down, he's maybe seven feet tall, and then uh, he stands up and he's about 13 feet tall. And we also had a, a, a group, a rap group, Destiny Lab, do the music. Nice. So it's really good music. And uh, so it's just one of those centerpiece products that you can put out in the weight line and he uh, right. sings different songs. We, the uh, singing version we call the Grim Rapper. <laughs> That's really stupid. Isn't oh, no, 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 you don't understand. If, if, you, if you watch Inside the Haunt Industry, yep. we do prop interviews and that's all of our humor. So oh, good. You, you fit right in. Oh, good. <laughs> We've done the um, upside down costumes. Those are such a big hit. Uh -huh. We thought, well, we'll sell them without the device so people could, you know, add those to their right. haunt. We've got a giant T-Rex. We've got a giant vicious dog. But we have a little candy bowl with a guy's head sculpted out. So, uh, <laughs> but so we have a range. We have a range <laughs> of inappropriate, disgusting products. Exactly. Yes. So now, how many years have you been coming to Transworld? I think since the beginning. I'm not yeah. sure. Yep. When I the first year I came to Transworld, it was a little room that was. I, I don't know. It, it was like a walk-in closet. No, <laughs> but it was very small. I think what they're doing is it's a little bit invisible, but the, the quality of the the customers they're bringing in um, and and the crowds are bigger. The size of the show is bigger, but it's I think it's the more subtle things that are really helpful. And um, I'm not sure how they pull it off, but it seems like just the overall vibe is positive right. and that's that's good when you're selling bloodthirsty monsters <laughs> of course you need the people who really want them right yes <laughs> or those who don't know they want them yet well that's right <laughs> you know it's, I, we love that when somebody they, when we can get a far enough ahead so people didn't know they wanted it and they have to have it and in the haunt industry it's a whole new phrase when something costs an arm and a leg that makes perfect sense <laughs> in well, a sick inappropriate way exactly yeah well, Ed, thank you so much oh you're so welcome Let, let's let's see the the grim rapper all right say our goodbyes get out of the way the grim absolutely. rapper and uh, thank you so much yeah absolutely thanks Ed. all right take yeah. it <laughs> Thank you.